ready? I was ready when I opened this popsicle. <laughs> this is all that's left. Yeah, but it's been a while, so it took me time to get it ready. The popsicle used to be this tall, folks. Okay. This tall. Hello, welcome to Strap In. Just go. <laughs> and bite it off. Hello, welcome to Strap Only Farm. I'm Christy, and you are? Popsicle. He's Popsicle Head tonight. Okay. Since we're returning, that's actually RJ, but he always has something else that he calls himself everything. He's a smart aleck, and I'm the sensible never. one. I am never a smart aleck. Mother, oh. son. Been a while. Ah, so, for you those of you who are faithful, we appreciate it. For those who this is your first time back since we've started podcasting again, we appreciate it. Correct. We hope you enjoy it. Um, so, it is a farm-based Christian podcast or little we call it a podcast but it's actually like a weekly blog vlog whatever you call it it's more right? like an hour long it, it, big ring rant we try rant. not to keep it an hour long all right so we're gonna start with our first section which is in the chapel as always we try to start off with a bible verse so that we know and it, we try to relate it to what's going on here on the farm and today is proverbs twenty five thirteen. son take it away as the cold of the snow in the time of harvest, so is a faithful messenger to those who send him, for he refreshes the soul of his master. So how does that relate to today or what's going on on the farm here lately? It's cold, folks. It is. It's been, what, 40 degrees? Last two days, that's the high. So that's cold. Yeah. If you know RJ, he always wants it sunny and 75. Don't settle for sunny and 65. <laughs> He'd settle for sunny, period. <laughs> it's cold, wet, and rainy, is it not? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's our um, chapel verse. We hope that you, if you want to research it, whatever, you know, you can. Um, we are Bible based. Christians. Easy. Alright, so the next segment coming up is in the barn stalls. So there's been a lot of changes here on the farm in the barn stalls. Um, and we'll get to why here in a little bit. So what's been going on in the barn stalls? Yeah, I have caramels. It's winter and it's Halloween hey, time. And, uh, 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 don't you give him my caramels. I'm so mad on. at you. I don't remember why I'm mad at you, but I remember <laughs> going on camera going, I'm mad at her. Oh, I went like this. Yeah. I don't remember why you might, but you're not going to give him a caramel and constantly. I don't remember why either. Um, okay, so get your shopping today. Don't be mad at me. All right, so in the barn stalls, let's give a recap. So we have not podcast. We, will you please stop? We have not podcast because we had a death that we took really, really hard, correct? We lost the day. She'd been here her entire life. RJ had had her as a baby. I have pictures of him when he's little, like laying in the middle of the pasture with him, her, like him like this and her like that, looking at each other. And she had a red bow on. Um, it was really rough. So um, that's not why we downscaled, but we have downscaled some. We have some other things going on in the farm. Uh, but we got really silent after that because it, it hurt. It's dumb. So, um, if you all know us, RJ and I actually stood out in the pasture and cried like big babies. So, um, it is what it is. It was super hard on us. And as you can tell, just talking about it, it's not any easier. So, anyway, um, so what have the cattle been doing? Let's recap the cattle. We, we lost the day. But we didn't stop, did we? You have a pen full of what? Little calves. Little calves. About how many now? 20? Mm, yeah, just under there. Just under. Give him a number. He's counting on his fingers. You were just telling me that. <laughs> it's under the tape. He's counting on his fingers.
There's eight in one pen. And seven in another. Okay. So, and, and the reason that we have pen. them in another, cattle learn to eat at different rates, and their size is a big difference in them. Mm -hmm. So, the bigger ones, there's seven or eight big ones and seven or eight little ones, and there's about 15 to 16 calves out there. Um, mm -hmm. Then, of course, we still have Bear, the big longhorn. Emma's still here, right? And then there's some out on the pasture, correct? I got like three. Hmm? Only three others in Emma. Yeah. Um, Mr. Zebu, Emma, Gordy, and Rat. And Rat. Is that all of them? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, we have lost this year our older cows. We knew it was coming. We're talking these things are... RJ's 22. And he's had them since they were bottled babies when he was little. Like, still ice skating little. Before we even started podcasting little. So... I want to say RJ might have been, what, six? Five or six when he got them. So, I mean, it's not like they're young. So... We are kind of losing well, the older Zibu ones. Was like eight when you bought her. I know Miss Zebu was eight when I got her, and she passed away just this last year. Don't play with your food. I like to make them squishy. They're caramels. Um. Then Mr. Zebu is also old, so we're hoping he can breed Emma. I don't know that he can because he's kind of getting old too, huh? So, I like to make them square. I, I don't know why. I just have to have them. They come square, but they come square with little lines on them. I don't like the little lines. They got to be like compact. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, oh, my gosh. So, anyway, we have a lot of little calves. We've lost She's quirky. our older cows. We still have Emma, and Emma is only, what, three? Yeah. So, Emma is going to be here. We're going to look for a new bull. Um, I'm going to get an actual Scottish Highlander to deal with, to breed her. I want a miniature Hereford. And if he does a miniature Hereford, we can. Um, we have a miniature Hereford out there, but he's been cut, hadn't he? Mm -hmm. And he's a little guy. So. All right, that's the cattle. He is now an it. He is now an it. And what's his name? Merle. Merle. He came with a name. Mm -hmm. He has an ear tag that says Merle. Mm -hmm. We call him Merle. Okay. Good old Merle Haggard. But Let's... Merle can't sing either. Yep. Okay, so that's We'd the be cattle. We'd be millionaires if we had a singing cow, though. Mm -hmm. um, Farm let's move on, on to on the tour. horses. I would drive okay. him around. Dude, tour bus uh, we've got to keep this down to how much? I don't know. And we, got, we aren't even through the barn stalls. Okay, so the horses right. we have shifter in the high gear. Yep, we have because we have been offline for a little bit just because, and, okay, and there's other offline. reasons that we'll, no, there are reasons why, and you'll get to those here in just a few minutes. Um, but we got to get through the barn stalls, which has the most stuff in it, just to catch everybody up. All right, in the barn stalls, horses we have the two Mustangs, mm -hmm. and they went and now carry our brand, correct. Uh, they still have their government brand down the um, down their neck, but they also carry our what brand. Flavor is that? I have no idea, and I'm not eating it. He's got these little gummy things. You bought them. You told me to get them. I told you to get gummy snacks, not. Okay, fruit slices are gummy snacks, are they not? Just saying. Okay, so there's the two Mustangs, Kavayu and Star. Are they rideable? Yeah. They are. We're riding. What did Star do the other day? Come on. Pony ride. Quit messing with that. I'm ready to see if it says what flavor this is. It doesn't matter. Yes, We've got does. this to do. No. It matters to me. Come on. Then oh. put it aside. You can eat it after we get done. Find a different one. If anybody knows what this flavor this is, please comment. To please. lime. You didn't even try it. I don't have to try it. What's the shape? Well, I don't. They're all that shape. 
Mm -hmm. Orange, lemon, lime. They all look like that. What's this one? Great. It's blue. It's not even. I don't know. It's showing you on the bag. Anyway, come on. Can we please get through this? This is why I'm the serious one and he is a nut. All right. So, Kabayu and Star are both today. rideable, but are they ready to go? Kabayu. What does he still do? Uh, just get towed around, man. Okay. But what is he totally done, finished? No. Okay, why? Explain. He's only got like six rides on him. Okay. He doesn't have enough experience and he still blows up, correct? Yeah. Um he's never blown up with me, but RJ was saddling him in the barn and what happened? He wanted to buck. He just went to buck him. He he just I don't know. He didn't want to be ridden that day. Whatever. He had temperament issues. So, um, Star. Now, she accomplished something here on the farm. She's coming along further than Kavayu, but she's also older than Kavayu. So, she's got, what, 18 months on Kavayu? Yep. What'd she do? A pony ride. She did. She did. Well, you put down the gum. Ha! <sighs> I was going to offer everybody. But I'm asking gun. you to try and focus on this right here, right now. Let's get through this and quit fussing with everything. Of gum, but you okay. the gum. So I guess you can offer Stop. yourself a piece of gum. <laughs> Stop. It's my gum. Stop and pay attention. Okay, so Star um, travels with you now. She loads a little bit better. She's gone to work days with you. She has done pony rides. Can you rope off of her yet? Not quite. Can you swing a rope off of her? But she hasn't put it all together. So she's somewhere in the steps. All right. Then there is Coop the Roping Horse. She's as sound as the day is long. Correct? Yep. What did Coop get um, two weekends ago? We were in Arkansas. And what happened? <laughs> she got a urinary tract infection. Okay. Yeah, she got that. Ow. Yes, she got a urinary tract infection. But she was also <laughs> nominated and awarded an award. Yeah. CWI Horse of the Year. I got it now. Kef Roping Horse of the Year, right? Yep. Okay, so Coop, we have always um, mounted people at the IPRA, ACRA, anywhere, you know. Um, but this year she was recognized by the CWRA, which are different associations in the in the rodeo world, mm -hmm. for being the Kef Roping Horse of the Year. So yay to her. Um, she only gets ridden at rodeos now. She's not a practice horse. She's not a thing. So she works 10 seconds mm -hmm. at every run, maybe. On good days, it's 7 or 8 is all she gets rode mm -hmm. on a day. Um, even if we mount 3 or 4 people, it's still less than a minute of her time to work. So she's getting a little older. Not by far. I mean, she's held 13. 13. So she's got another 15 years or so to go, but um, she won't be able to rope the entire time, will she? No. She'll get a little slower each year. Um, but she's got probably five more years still of increasing her speed. So, all right. So that's Coop, the Mustangs. Who else is out there? Ice, which is a practice horse, right? He's the one that RJ trained. Yep. Uh, Whiskey, what's her deal? She's a half sister to Coop. We got her with the intention of making a roping horse out of her. How's that going? Not very good. Not very good. She's just too laid back. She doesn't have the speed. She doesn't have the stop. She doesn't have the want to. Um, she just doesn't have a lot of giddy up and go, does she? No. She's just really laid back. So we're going to make her into what kind of horse? Just, just a trail all around for kids to ride. And she will be rehomed. Right? Yep. Okay. Then the two yearlings. Or, well, I guess they're not yearlings anymore, are they? Well, they're almost three. They're almost three. Okay, so the two colts. The two little mare filly colts that we have out there. Um, we got them when a guy got overstocked, correct? They have yep. papers, don't they? No. No. But they come from papered stock. Um, what's with them? They're just sitting out there getting fat. 
They're growing. They're growing. Um, the one, as she grows, she looks just like Kavayu without the white face, huh? Mm -hmm. So, um, I would love to see those two as a driving team, just because they look so much alike. Not because that's their skills. Just saying. Uh, there's two donkeys out there. Correct. We still have Donkey Kong. Did we forget any horses? We need a water buffalo. We don't need a water buffalo. Um, did we forget any horses? There's Ice, Coop, the two on the pasture, the two fillies, the two Mustangs, and Whiskey. Is that right? Seven? Mm -hmm. Do we have seven horses? Okay. Um, stop it. We've done cattle and horses. Donkey Kong, what's going on with him? He needs a zebra for a friend. No, he doesn't. He's lonely. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He's got a friend out there. Who's his friend? The little burrow. But Ginger, the wild burrow she from she Arizona. Um, they're both out he there. Needs a zebra. And tell me what happened last time a coyote crossed our land? They captured it. They killed it. Correct. Yes. And how did you get Donkey Kong away from it? He just left it eventually. And then you hauled it off? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he was stomping the snot out of it. So, uh, they're doing their job. Right? Okay. Um, sheep and goats. I would like to start a fund for our zebra folks. Um, no. Please donate. I'll put the We're first We're talking nickel downsize. In. I'll put the first nickel in. I found my mom's desk here. It's my nickel. Yeah, so mom can contribute the, the first. Mom will contribute the first nickel, folks. No, I'm not. We don't need a zebra. Yes, we do. Okay. No, we don't. I want to ride a zebra in a parade. Oh, that's a bad idea. Yes, it is. You know what? Okay, so sheep and goats. I don't the know The sheep. Okay, the goats. This year we lost... Sweetie, correct? Mm -hmm. Holly is a little bit older, and I don't want her bred anymore, so we rehomed her where there's no Billy. Right? Yep. Um, I did keep one of Sweetie's little girls and one of Holly's little girls, and they will go on to be our next breeding stock. And I still have Miss Layton, who is Holly's daughter. Mm -hmm. Layton will be bred this year so that we have milk this coming spring, correct? Matthew's still out there. Matthew will be rehomed after he breeds with Layton because I have two of his daughters and no more. Um, they can't breed to him, so I will be looking for another male um, that's not related to them after that. And we're only going to have the two goats. Um, I'm going to actually rehome. I really want to keep Layton because she is an Angora La Macha Cross, and I love her fleece. And yes, she has fleece. It's really weird looking, but she has amazing fleece. So I might actually keep three milk goats and just get a new billy, and then it won't matter. So anyway, uh, Holly is no longer breeding, and she's been rehomed. So um, she just a grass eater, right? Yep. Oh, you went away. Uh, okay, what's next? The sheep. Yeah. What's going on with the sheep? Let's tell them. Our thing is froze up, so I think it's still recording, isn't it? The number's still going. This number's still going, but we just can't see because you turned it off. I did not. Okay, so the sheep and goats. What's next? Uh, the goats we talked about. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, what about these sheep? We have downsized, correct? We've yeah. rehomed a lot of them. The rhinos are still here. There are some cuties still here. Yes, it unfroze. Um, what else? So they can see me. Yes. yes. Okay. What else? Mm -hmm. Ralphie's still here. Yep. Um, after he breeds this year, though, he will be going. Correct. This is his last year to breed. Mm -hmm. So um, we are downsizing. Like I said, how many are we gonna have? I, we don't know exactly how many. We're gonna decide the final number, the final cut tomorrow. Um, we sold a lot of them to fiber people, that kind of stuff. Um, sold some of the cutie crosses. I still have some of them for my baby girls. Um, but we're just, we can't keep up with it all. 
and here in, in the farmhouse we'll explain to you what's going on here so that you'll understand okay anything else in the barn stall oh the geese we still have the chickens the ducks and the geese um sam is a girl are you sure does she have eggs under her i don't know but See, a boy does not make a nest no but you don't know if a chicken made it and she's just sitting on it or it's just sitting on it but we think sam is a girl and we think that we think taylor don't you think taylor's a boy i think so but i'm not sure we're not sure. So the white one we think is a boy, and the beautiful gray one is a girl. She's sitting on a nest, but I think it just has chicken eggs in it. I don't think she has any eggs under her. We we won't know, but we're going to let her do her thing. Just like the ducks, we've not had much luck with raising them um, in captivity where you put a tote and all that stuff. So we're just going to let them do their thing um, and go from there. So I want peacocks. I want a zebra. When I get a peacock, you can have a zebra. I'm a little wait, wait, wait. I take that back. When I get a pair of peacocks, you can have a zebra. Why does you have to have a pair? Then I want a pair I of want zebras. A girl and boy. So we can well, have I want babies. a pair of zebras then. If you get your no, pair we're not doing baby zebras. Why not? They're awesome looking. No. They're like. No, no, no. Okay, anyway. So we still have the chickens, the ducks, the geese. Um, we do think that Sam is a girl, the little gray one. We think that the white one is a boy. He's considerably bigger than her, too, isn't he? Yeah. So, um, anything else that's animal related? We still have the dogs. Why do you get a parent? We have read because I'm the mommy. Uh, what about one and a half? I no, I'm the mommy. Uh, we still we've rehomed a lot of the cats. We're down to five cats, which we like that number. All boys, correct? I think so. Yep, they're all boys. So oh, unless somebody on the zebra right here, unless somebody dumps another female, we shouldn't have the army of eight kind of thing and the cats galore. Um, all have been rehomed. We still have Carl and Wilbur. Um, Carl is still in training. Wilbur takes a little bit longer. If you remember, they got distemper and they survived it, but Wilbur a little slower. Um, Carl's doing much better with his training, but Wilbur does amazing as an inside dog and protecting this house. You can't walk in here if he's in here. He's like, Rrr! and Moose gets him going. It's kind of funny, but him and, and the little nine pound weenie dog over there is, uh, they're <laughs> Carl's, I mean, Wilbur's huge, but they get along great. Mm -hmm. um, Carl and Jethro, Carl, bow down to Jethro, but he doesn't listen to Jethro as much as he should. So we'll see how that goes. They're still in training. All right, mending fences. Anything has changed around here that there's a lot of things that need to be mended. Um, I haven't been around here as much as I should. I'm getting into a schedule and we will be fixing. October is the month that we close and do all of our uh, mending fences stuff and then we'll do a bunch before we open up. I haven't even made the list for the mending fences. Will you stop it? Look at them and not me. It's a dork. So we will get on that. Moving on into in the yarn farm. I have not been doing a whole lot in the yarn farm. We had our intern farm date. Stop and pay attention please. What else has been going on in the yarn farm? Now this is just me talking and you being irritating. Yarn farm. Have we been doing anything in it? Not really. We actually are not even going to go to Wamego. I'm going to go and I am going to teach. But we're not going to have a booth, are we? Nope. So um, I do still have some wool for sale. We'll sell it here on the farm. For tax purposes, mm -hmm. we're not shipping anything anywhere. The Oklahoma tax laws... Are getting crazy and ridiculous so we're only selling here on the farm that's just cut dry done um, in the fields I have a bunch of gourds out there the garden went crazy uh, I've got to start over and get it under control it'll probably be this spring before I get everything under control back out there and go find all the gourds I had some huge zucchinis out there and I think the bugs got them um, yeah, I know they're not really good to eat when they're that big, but they're great for making what is that zucchini jelly? Yeah, 
Um, that recipe is up someplace, I think, on our page, our webpage. So if you're interested in zucchini jelly, if you can't find it, you can email RJ at RJ at R. You can email RJ at RJ at barnontheweb.com and he will get it to you. Or you can email farmontheprairie.com and we will get it to you. It's an amazing. Odds are email farmontheprairie.com. Yeah, he didn't always check it. I never checked Just get a hold of us anywhere. Leave a comment below and we will get you the recipe for zucchini jelly. Um, so, even what else happened in the fields that's kind of one of the reasons that we're down in? Call me and come okay. Shh. What else? What happened in the hay field? Did we get all the hay in? Mm -mm. No, we didn't. And it's, I'm going to say partly my fault, but not really because he is a grown man. He is in charge of the farm a little bit more, mm -hmm. and he should have made sure that his father did what he was supposed to do to get the hay in. But there's a reason that I'm not, which leads us right into in the farmhouse. So why am I not around so much? You got a new job. I did. I got a different job, which is I take care of a house. I run a staff for a house that keeps a man in his home. Um, he is mentally challenged. He's 55 years old. He has a bunch of health issues and I run I work for a corporation that runs that house to keep him in the house. So um, it's like having a, a, another kid and He calls me all the time about all kinds of silly stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. So I pull a shift down there in his house. I make sure all his medications are done uh, I do house inspections. Right now he's getting ready to move from an apartment to a house. Um, I had to go in and talk to the landlord and get all that stuff lined out. We've got to do deposits, blah, blah, blah. Um, so it's just like running a second household. Um, plus again, there's all the stuff that I have to do for them. So there's training classes and state run classes and all this to make sure that I'm in compliance with all of the things that we're supposed to do. So, um, and I'm sure everybody knew it was inevitable that RJ would take over more of the farm because this is now his job. It's been a learning experience, hadn't it, son? Yeah. So, he is going to be buying hay this year um, just because we got in, what, the so, right away, the whole right away was done. The other big pasture over here didn't get done. And we normally do it in sections because it's that big. But what, another thousand bales we didn't get in. So we only got in like half of the hay. So he's made arrangements to purchase the rest of the hay, correct? That yep. we need for the winter. But it also means that we don't have enough to get the sheep and the goats through. And we also don't have enough manpower to get, to sustain everything that was here previous. How many head do you think we had at when we were at full capacity? Probably 50 or 60. 50 or 60 sheep and goats. And that's, that's a lot. When you add that and 20 to 25 head of cattle at any given time. Yep. 10 head of equine, that, that's the donkeys and the, the horses, time to ride, break, and take care of those horses. Um, the poultry kind of run themselves, but you still had things you had to do, clean out the chicken coop and that kind of stuff. So with me being away, there just is not enough of RJ to go around. He's finding out what he can handle, what he can't handle. Less sheep and goats. That's fine. We will have a small flock, and it's for me. I, I want them around. Um, and so they'll stay. Uh, at some point, we may just get down to even fewer. You know, we're going to be less than 10 head. I'll it be is right at, a 10. right at 10, 12, a dozen, whatever. Yeah, but we're cutting it way right. down. Um, yeah. Because shearing, it, it was rough getting through shearing. It was rough getting through worming. You know, when there's only one of you, it is hard to get everything done. And we're hands-on. That's why everybody thinks we're so great at what we do. 
we put our hands on any animal that looks sick, looks thin, looks whatever, and we're hands on every day. RJ, how many cattle do you check hands on every day? Uh, right now, out of those two pins of babies. Both of them. Mm -hmm. And we don't have I a fancy seven, shoot. I seven out when the weather's nice. Yeah, but it's raining right now, so none yep. of them get to go out. Um, but you physically see them, inspect them. If they look, if their ears even droop or whatever, you put hands on them, check them, correct? Mm -hmm. If they stick their tongue out at me, I go catch them. And make sure that they're fine. And when you're doing that for cattle, baby calves, and then the sheep and the goats, it's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. And it's just at times too much for one person. So, yes, we're down, downsizing. We're still doing all the stuff we're doing. Um, Ashley, our intern, won't be returning. She actually has a real job now. She won't be returning as our intern next year, but we will have an intern program. Um, we're hoping to get some other things going. We're still going to do homesteading classes and that kind of stuff, but it won't be during my work days. Correct? So we're just going to have a different schedule. That's just all there is to it. All right. Anything else going on in the farmhouse? You also are working for your uncle, correct? Yep. So, uh, it is what it is. And you've kind of smooth just slid something right in under the wire huh he's added a girlfriend to the mix how long you been dating now you and her i don't know wow since february mark like hmm? it's been a while huh almost six <laughs> months right yeah probably no because this is october so yeah. almost eight months. No, because you met her in January. Yeah. But you guys didn't start dating until... Does she know when your anniversary is? No. Have y'all even discussed this? No. This is not a topic I want to discuss. <laughs> he doesn't know when his anniversary <laughs> is. He doesn't know when his anniversary is. <laughs> Look at him. He's embarrassed. He doesn't know. Typical man. <laughs> Typical man. I'm sure I'll be well, they the day after. All right. Yeah. The thing is, is they were dating before it went on Facebook or before they were public with it. So, you know, it was just them dating. And they didn't need a bunch of input, did they? Mm. So they've been together for quite a while. And so he slid that in. So he's balancing the farm, which is his home life, his job, and his girlfriend. How's that going for you? Depends on what day of the week it is. <laughs> <laughs> right now, to today, how's it going? And I've been trying to rope. And he's been roping. Yes, he has. He made the CWRA finals. So yeah. that was a good thing, right? Anything else going on in the farmhouse? We're chilly on for tomorrow. Typically, it's off. You turned it yeah, off. Yeah, I did turn it off because it's done. And I just, that way, we'll heat it up tomorrow. All right. Anything else in the farmhouse? You said our personal life. He needs a shower. So Ooh, that see. you're still running the farm. I have a new job. Um, I am doing stuff here on the farm on the days that I'm home, but and I have my church stuff that I do too. So what? On the porch, it's wet. Okay. And cold. Up next is On the Porch, which is a segment where we talk about the fiber things or projects that I'm working on. I have two, which was almost a catastrophe because I lost it's the hook. The hook. Oh my and gosh. it's the same hook. And the both. answer. Oh my gosh. It was horrifying. And the answer, Captain Hook, is in Never Neverland. It's not the proper answer, no. folks. No. Okay, so I started to. Now, and. You guys can laugh if you want, but please don't laugh. Let me know. So I stop it. You said I could laugh. No, I said they could. I didn't say you could. Say, look, Moose is coming to check you out. You're being a brat. Hello, folks. We got us a guest star here. He's really going to be on the show here now, folks. Look at this. Hey, look at the camera, dude. Look at the camera. Up here, dude. Go, dude. Okay. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Okay, so I pulled right. these out and I've made a mess of them, just look so you know. 
Look at the camera, man. You gotta look at the camera, dude. Yeah, yeah, hey. It's the first rule of. It's the first rule of. Uh, like of there he is. Right. There you go. All right. That's there the first he rule of being he a guest. He just wants to be over here with mom. Do not Welcome want to, to get show, on this. Man. Okay, so I started yeah, right a blanket. Uh, uh, get him down. Get him down, please, because this is really long. And I don't uh, when I reach over, he's going to snag it with his claws. Okay, so I started one of those uh, blankets, baby blankets. Dan, we got to catch short, folks. Nothing uh, to know about it. Grab it's a square star. blanket. Stop it. It's a square blanket, but it's made with four triangles. So you start this side here, which is long, and then you decrease one on each side, making a triangle. And then you stitch the four triangles together. Now, here's where I have gone awry, and I haven't figured out this. But I have this wonderful pink, okay? Then I have this beautiful peach, and they're going to be opposite. And I have this amazing yellow. Mm. And I know this camera doesn't show them all great, but it is what it is. And if you look... The bag is empty, so I only have three triangles, and I need another fourth color, but I don't know what I'm going to use. What? I'm not a genius, but I think you're short of you the yarn. I know, because I haven't figured out. I don't want to do white, and for some reason, I'm just I not blue. seeing blue. I know. that's. What, I don't know. I'm just not feeling the blue. I'm just not, not feeling the blue. I'm not feeling the blue. My blues way too. So I'm working on that, and I haven't gotten very far on it. Oh, um, I just song? whatever you do, don't step on my blues way too. Yeah, Elvis Presley. Yeah. So and then oh, oh in the more. farmhouse, I forgot to tell him. What do I do on Saturdays? Freeze to death, and you pay for it. Mm -hmm. Um, back in the day, if you remember. Any of the stories before we've done this. Uh, RJ used to figure skate, and he got that from me. I used to skate when I was a kid and on up. And so he was actually competitive, really good. Uh, I don't know if he had fun or not, but by the time he was 12, he was like, I don't want to do this anymore. So he quit, which is fine. We don't make him. If he didn't want to, he didn't want to. He, I said, well, you can't just stay at home. you got to do something. He said, get me a horse. So we did, and hence, here comes everything. Uh, but I have been figure skating. So, yes, on Saturdays I go figure skating, and I have a coach. Um, it is what it is. It's just for fun, though. Okay. So the next thing I did, and I ripped this out. I've started it several times and ripped this out. I am making fingerless mitts to go... For me to use when I'm skating but the problem is is the pattern says to start it down here and go up I don't like how tight this is right here on my arm so I'm gonna start and do the pattern backward now it took me time and time again to figure this out and I actually got one all the way done and then that's how I figured out I didn't like it at all so that's gonna go off. Hey. Move that paper and, and man the camera. So that's how I figured out I didn't like it and it kind of just cut in and it didn't stay upright. So I am redoing it and I will have it actually goes down like here and it's got two rows. So I'm going to rework the pattern backwards and make two of them and then I'll have fingerless mitt and I'm going to make them also a little bit match. longer. I'm going to laugh and the gloves don't match. They're going to match. And, for the record, I am using a 5mm hook, and I apparently only own one. This is the big deal. Uh, I do prefer this yarn. This is amazing yarn, and it is a commercial yarn. But You're supposed it's to called, say it's one of our yarns, one of our lovely yarns. You can buy that here at the farm. Well, but I could wash it. Dad, you're using a... One called a Big Twist. Um, it is acrylic, and it's called Big Twist Classic. It doesn't have a whole lot of information on the the label. It just says Big Twist Classic. So, I don't know. It's 690 yards, so I'm pretty sure I can get a few things out of it. Right. I might be able to make me a hat and a scarf to go with it, too. That would have been always telling me. I know. I know. I should be using one of my yarns, but 
I'm not. Well, folks, I like this. This is a 747 paper model. <laughs> All right, so anything else? I was. I know, but our list is on it. Anything else for the animals? You killed it. That was a masterpiece. RJ's upset. Mending fences. We will get that list and tell you what we're going to work on and we're going to start um, podcasting. Come on. Come on. You're over here. Stop it. And quit. They can't hear me over your wailing. Um, we'll get that list and tell you what we're going to do. I'm actually thinking I'm going to take the camera out take you on a walk around the farm because we've also had how many inches of rain this year son come on you killed my airplane randy 70 you killed my airplane okay please talk to them about the weather we've had 70 inches of rain and she killed my airplane <laughs> then get it okay you killed it that was a masterpiece here in a minute i'm gonna rip it up and not even fold it back She's evil like that. She'll Talk do it too. Talk to them about the weather, please. What has what is seventy inches normal? No, no, it's not. Okay, we're normally in drought conditions, and we've had seventy inches of rain. What is the longest span we've gone without rain? Twelve year? days. Twelve uh, days. We normally so go months without rain. We normally go a long time, and now we can't even make it two weeks, and everything is flooding. Um, people are saying they have mud farms, and they're now joking that. Yeah, in the spring we had mud farms. Now we have pond farms because everything is standing in this much water. It we has should grow it. rice. We should. We would probably be beneficial at it. So mending fences, there are a lot of things. I've had to fix things as we go, little things. We've got a shed to rebuild. I'm still trying to get the tiny house, but no one can get down we there. We have an airplane to that. rebuild, too. I will rebuild the airplane in 10 minutes, okay? The yarn farm, I haven't really been spinning anything. I haven't been doing anything um i made some soaps just little things here and there nothing to call home about right in the fields we didn't get enough hay put up we didn't get things done we're just it's going to be a recovery year that's all we can say um in the farmhouse i have a job and i'm figure skating you're running the farm working for your uncle got a girlfriend what else lasso roping yep on the porch, I'm working on that, and on, off to market, we haven't done anything. Um, I'm not really, I haven't kept up with the online stores, so I just closed them um, for right now. When things get back to normal, and I figure out, I've only been doing this job a couple of months, so, well, two months, so since we've quit podcasting, that's when this all happened. Uh, so, we'll get it back um, what is he, three? No, I'm two and a half. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, we want to wish everybody a happy One Halloween, Halloween, right? All Hallows Eve, if you're Catholic, mm -hmm. however you celebrate it, whatever. I'm not going to pick up that airplane. Gonna not going to happen. Can I ask you to? I have a Halloween party tomorrow, and I'm going as a jellyfish. Are you doing anything for Halloween? Nope. RJ does not like Halloween, do you? If I'm not leaving home. He's turning off the porch light. He actually, we have candy set for any trick-or-treaters that come up. Our porch light will be on. We normally don't get, but like, three neighbors. Elaine will bring her kids down, right? And... No, I have to fold it in half first. Um, so... We have a few neighbors that will bring their kids by. We have a little bit of candy that we give them. Clover will probably bring uh, Corbin and Slack. Right? Mm -hmm. And it is what it is. So he'll be sitting at home, probably eating some chili, watching some blue tube. Right? All right, guys, we are going to get off here. I know it's a long one. We did catch you up. Next week, we hope to be on schedule. And we don't know what day it will be, but we are going to get back to apparently building airplanes. This is the 551 model, folks. Watch her. She's got flat things. Aerodynamic body. This one's going to fly better. Oh, yeah, it did. Dog is eating. The dog is eating paper planes.
No, it's so anyway, a 747 and a 550. Next week we should have some actual footage from around the farm oh, um, right that we will just put pop in. And so if you have any questions or want to know anything, how things are going, just comment below, give us an email, whatever. We're going to get back to the routine. So, but I am fitting in a job plus the routine. What? That one thing. What is the one thing this week? <laughs> he does this every time. If you're new to the show, you'll find out that he always says, oh, oh, what about that one thing? What about the one thing? And he's going to come up with what flavor is it? We really try. I took a bite off this corner. I don't want to bite after you. That's gross. So bite off this corner. Okay, did you see what flavors there are? It says sugar, corn syrup, modified food starches, but it doesn't say apple, pear. I'm having trouble focusing with this. Those are the only two flavors on there. That is. That's the only two flavors. Then it says there's yellow, red, blue, citrus acid. Just try it. I hate these things, you guys. Just try it. Make a little piece. What flavor is that? I don't like them. It is lime, though. I explained them. I don't like any of it. It's lime. It tastes guys, like. Guys, uh, want like three quarters of a gummy <laughs> snack? <laughs> Nobody does. Kosher, come here. No, Our don't give that to the star. dog. That's too much. Our special guest star. This is his treat for being on the show today. Let's toss it. There's your slices. All right. So we're going to head out. We will talk to you we're all gonna next week. We're going to go give away next week, folks, all yes. the green slices. They get with the presents. No. We will do a giveaway, but we will not be giving away slices. So. That would be an awesome giveaway, folks. I would want to win that giveaway. You would? Yes, I would. The green slices. He cut me off. <laughs> now that we're back, we are going to start with a giveaway. So hopefully next week, if you come back to see us, you will find out how to enter. I better she stop cut touching me off. it. Goodbye. She just cut Bye. me off. Bye. Say goodbye. She cut me off, folks. Goodbye. I'm going to cut him off this time.